65 kilograms, Frank Molinero in the blue. For the United States, he's taking on Megamed Muslimov from Azerbaijan, he's in the red. And look at Molinero, right away, first thing I notice, sock game is strong. Second thing I noticed, he's got a pretty cool haircut. Beyond that, it's time to wrestle. Frank, very good at it. He's had one heck of a, a ride since the Olympic trials. He won, I think it was the nine seed, one of the toughest and, and deepest and uh, most competitive weight classes. Came through and he beat a lot of dudes. I didn't see what happened, but it looked like he got punched in the face. Referee used an open hand slap, but. I don't know, I personally wouldn't want to piss off the Gorilla Hulk, but that's me. 1-0 for Molinero. That was a caution and a point. You can't, you can't. That's UFC stuff he was doing. It's physical sport, but you can't go there. And now a USA champ from the crowd starts. And the hands, crazy hands going on from Muslimov. Just smacking the head, working, working very fast hands. I don't know how heavy are there. But his hands are going a million miles an hour. Frank comes to a tie, engages. Muslimov digs an underhook on the opposite side. Minute 25 down here in the first. We're right in the middle of the period. No offensive points, just the one so far again on the caution against Muslimov. NCAA champion and NCAA runner-up for the Penn State Nittany Lions is Molinero. There he goes, that left hand of high crotch, he misses, got to the body, loses a hold of the body as well. Neither wrestler ranked in the international rankings here. And they're gonna say passive blue, at least I see the one and, and confirmed. And he put his hand in Frank's face again, I don't know if that was intentional, it definitely wasn't a physical, but the hand was in the face, annoying if nothing less. Frank comes with a hard club of his own. Leading by a point. 35 to go in the first period. And these guys get a little, little physical with each other. Ball now picks him up, takes him to the mat. I think it's just going to be two. I think in the last second, Muslimov was able to turn down, but Frank penetrated right through there. Picked him up, and now he's going Bent Lake Turkey. He's got it halfway. And the referee blows it dead, and he put him back up on their feet. But Molinero leading 3-0. A great job with that timing and getting underneath the hips. And it was short time left in the period, so he'll have. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. They were not going to let go of me. They were <laughs> waiting to see who was going to let go first. And of course it turned into a little bit of a, a shoving match. And I expect a little bit more physicality in a second from, from both guys. I think Frank will be able to keep his cool. So let's see, the clarification, it is 7-1. Your team scores 7-1 right now. USA got 4-0 in the first match. Dennis got a tech ball, had no points scored against him. And then the second match was 3-1 because USA won the decision, they got three points. Azerbaijan gets one point because they scored in the match. Thank you, Jason Moore, for the clarification.
3-0, second start of the second period. Molinero and Muslimov, a uh, very physical and, and I would say maybe maybe an emotional match when, when the guys' tempers get a little heated and, and they get kind of pissed at each other and they you, you see a punch or a jab or a slap or a headbutt or a little extra shove. Their, their emotions are getting into it a little bit and some guys might do better with that. Some guys might really not do very well. And now Muslimov gets to the leg, wasn't able to hold on to it. Molinaire kicked away and jumped himself free. 2.10 to go. In fighting battle here. And they're gonna go passive blue. Okay. They're gonna hit Molinero, his first passivity call. I believe that was his first one. Indeed was, because there's no shot clock on. I lied, the shot clock is going. That was Molinero's second passivity call. He's got 30 seconds to score. And if he doesn't, Moose Limoff will get a point. He attacks Moose Limov, stops him with an underhook, pulls him into a front headlock. Marlonero had him close to the edge, a little bit more back in the middle now. He tries to go back to that left hand, a high cross, it's stopped again, and that shot clock will expire. Marlonero will surrender a caution and a point. 3-1 now, with 1.15 to go in the match. Inside the last minute of action, we are down to almost 45 seconds left to Molinero out in front. Three to one, both wrestlers with a caution. A left hand high crash attempt himself from Muslimov. Inside the last 15, and a headbutt. That was a clean headbutt. I mean, that was, that was, he came right forward, led with that head. Frank holding his eye, he's, he's a tough dude. He's gonna step right back in there. And that's the, that emotion I was talking about. He's, he was upset, Molinero hopefully could keep his cool. I know I'd be wanting to punch him, but. Another point for that? No, there you go, another point. Second caution, 11 seconds to go. Frank in a hold position. He's telling Frank to circle. <laughs> can't, can't do that guy, you gotta. <laughs> and he's gonna come hard, he may try to headbutt or anything, he's gonna smack. Oh, Frank gave him a little bit of a, oh! Oh, Frank slapping his hands. Yeah, yeah, come on now, what's gonna happen here? Don't leave them in the center unattended, guys. <laughs> Don't leave them in the center unattended. Oh, that's gonna do it. 4-1 is your final. The advisor by Johnny, not a great loser, but he is a loser. So 4-1, your final, Frank Molinero. Team USA wins again.